Hey guys, it's me Remu, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna go over my mains of 2021 since I haven't posted anything for a very long time and I think it's time for an update, so let's get straight into it. So for 2x2 I use this uh, Moyo WRM, Waypo I think, not sure. Uh, I used to use the uh, YJ MGC uh, magnetic version, some kind of elite, yeah. YGMGC Elite 2M, but that's my backup main now, and my main is this Moyu some kind of WRM. It's like really controllable and small, so it fits my hands pretty well. So that's why I use this cube now. For 2x3, I use the Moyu GTS 3M WRM 2020, whatever the cube's names are these now these days. It's really fucked. I don't even remember the names of my own cubes. But yeah, this is like really fast and controllable and uh, no ridges, so I can do all my algorithms very well on this. Also, I use this for OH and blind, of course. For 4 4 this is the YJMGC. Finally, an easy name for once. Again, really fast, controllable cube. Definitely better than the Aosu for me. For 5 5 I have the Valk 5M. Really nice cube. The YJMGC is also good, but I prefer this one but it turns really well, really, really well. And the magnets are just perfect. For 6x6, I have the YJMGC 6M. This is by far the best 6x6, far better than the X-Men Shadow. Really fast layers, really fast inner layers, really fast outer layers, really nice to turn, really nice to practice on. That's why I've been doing a lot of 6x6 lately as well. And for 7x7, of course, the X-Men Spark Gam. Some people like the Haze. Some people like the MGC, but I think this is pretty nice since it's kind of small in my hands and the magnets and everything turns very well, much better than the 6x6. For Pyraminx, I currently use the Huanglong since it's really reliable and since my turning is a little all over the place, it's much more controllable for me and I can do all my turns on this really reliably. For Square One, I use the uh, Volt V2M, fully magnetic with the black side. My last one broke, so this isn't really set up. It's still better than the uh, YJ. No, no, no. The usual magic cube. Oh my god, I've been away from cubing so long. But yeah, this is a really nice cube. Definitely the best item in the market right now. For this cube, I still use the Aoyan. I actually have some Gans cubes laying around, but they aren't unboxed, and I'm not going to because I think I'm going to sell them. But again, I really like the whole design on here. And I think it's still very good and works for me. For Mega Minx, we have this YJ Yuhu V2M, which is really fast, much better than the X Men Galaxy because it's faster. Also, bigger layers. The design on this is quite strange, but it actually works out pretty well. And I've been enjoying Mega Minx lately a lot because of this cube. Not really much practicing though. For Clock, I still have the Lingao. Which is kind of, these stickers are coming off, but who the fuck does clock anyway? Like... No idea, bro. How do you do clock? So now, I'm gonna go over my backup mains. Boom, here they are. So, as you can see, no clock, because I only have one clock. So starting with 2x2, two two, this is the YJMGC Elite that I talked about. It turns pretty well as well. But it's a little faster and locky and... It's pretty big, so it doesn't fit my hands as well. For 3x3, three three, I had the GAN XS. Also really nice cube, but a little lucky for me. But it's definitely usable. I can also average sub 10 on this one, so... Definitely nice backup for me. For 4x4, four four, this is the Wuchwe M. This is a really old cube. Uh, magnetized by Andre Sonsa back in 2018. I have my Aosu WRM somewhere, I think Maxim has it, but I'm not sure. Well, I mean it works, I'm not, it's not like I'm gonna lose my cubes anytime soon. Like I did at some comp and then at Tartope and I had no cubes to use, so I had to borrow every cube at a comp. It's up somewhere, Tartope in 2019, or maybe I deleted it, I'm not sure. So this is the 5x5, this is the Wushuang M, and I think this is illegal because of this little mark on the red side, or was it, yeah, on the blue side, over here there's a little mark, might be on some of the other pieces as well, 
but this is a really nice cube as well. And but it's not as good as the Hulk because they just aren't as clicky. And this is the bad boy, the X Men Shadow, which you see it turns well. But when you get to inner layers, it really doesn't. It's kind of slow. It's really sluggish. Uh, not a good cube at all for me. It doesn't turn. Also, I've broken two cubes, two X Men Shadows. So for 7x7 I have my first 7x7 that I bought from somebody at the comp, this is the Moyu MFJS7 maybe? Really shitty cube, no magnets as well, but I just have it I guess. This cube, the wingy, it breaks really easily, the corners just come off like this. So when it falls on the ground, I, I actually, I put it over here, I, I put it from here to here. And the corner just broke and fell on the ground. So that's why I used Dalian. Fuck my clock. Uh, for square one, I just have this Cosmic Volt M. This isn't really good. It's a pretty old cube. I got this for my birthday. It was 50 euros and I got it for free. So thank you. I forgot who it was gifted by. I think it was. Yeah, no idea. No fucking idea. Well, it's a really nice cube. For Remix, my backup is the Mr. M. So, why I prefer the Hong Long is that the tips are better. For here, the tips are kind of like all over the place, but the Hong Long is really reliable. But this is a really good backup main. And for Mega Wings, I just have this Galaxy. Uh, doesn't turn as well, but it's usable. It's really small. So for multi, I just have like 16 random cubes without any stickers. No, I mean like without no logos. And then I just, for blind backup, just use whatever cube I have laying around. So I didn't feel like I had to go with my averages because, well, it's not really that important. Well, it depends on who you ask, but I just wanted to show you my main cubes. So see you in the next one. I have a competition in a month, so maybe I can vlog it, let's see, alright, peace out.